boys and girls and welcome to our VBS program for this year. Well, it's going to be a little different because you will be watching lessons every day either on the laptop or on the phone or even on the iPad. But I can assure you it's going to be lots of fun. Welcome to Cactus Ball. Hee ha! That's what we're going to say this week. We're going to be learning a lot of exciting stories, beautiful lessons from the Bible. We're going to be making some crafts and some healthy snacks. It's going to be fun. So welcome to Cactus Ball Vacation Bible School 2021. Well, today is our first day and today we are going to re be reminded that God calls us to be different and we're going to learn about a very special person from the Bible. So, are you ready? Yeah, let's say a prayer before we start. Almighty God, thank you. We are so excited. We are going to be learning some beautiful lessons from your word. Thank you, Jesus, that you have called us to be different. May we remember to be obedient to what the Bible teaches us. And may we grow to be strong Christian boys and girls. We love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Are you ready? Yeah. He ha. Today's memory verse comes from 1 Peter 2 verse 9. But you are a chosen generation, a holy priesthood, a royal nation, and a peculiar people. Amen. Bye. Oh, howdy boys and girls, and welcome to Cactusville. You are here because you are special and you have been called. Yes. You have been called to be different. Today is day one and we are going to put on our cactus western attire and discover how God has called us to be different. Just like God called John the Baptist to be different and dedicate his life to spreading the word about the coming of the Messiah. God has called you to be different. God has called you to be unique so that everybody around you can know that you are a true ambassador of God.
friends, I am Tammy Tarantula. I am a very hairy spider or arachnid, and I have a whole lot of relatives, more than 800, that live all over the world. Some people are afraid of me because I'm so hairy, but most of my relatives are harmless to humans. In fact, some people like to keep me as a pet. Did you know that tarantulas come in all sizes? We can be as small as the tip of your thumb, or we can be as large as a dinner plate when all our legs are fully extended. Speaking of legs, I have eight of them. At the end of each leg, I have retractable claws that help me hold on tight when I climb. I am very impressive to look at. I may look different, but God made me for a special purpose. He called me to be different. Howdy, my name is Jim Bob. Me and my family recently moved to Cactusville. We're still getting used to all the people here. We used to live in a place called Skunk Junction. It was real pretty there, but it always smelled kind of funny. That woman reading the Bible there, that's my ma. Her name is Ma, or at least that's what we call her. And that little guy there, well, that's my brother. His name is Joe Bob. We also have a pa, but he's away on business a lot. Right now, Ma is reading the Bible to us. She's reading about Jesus' cousin, 
John the Baptist. The Bible says that John was called to be different. When Ma told us how he ate locusts and wore clothing made out of camel hair, we thought that sounded pretty disgusting. We ended our worship that morning by repeating Ma's favorite Bible verse. It's 2 Timothy 1.9 and it says, God has saved us and called us to a holy calling. After worship, Joe Bob and I went out to play. We were discussing what Ma had taught us during worship. How just like John the Baptist, we were also called to be different. We weren't exactly sure how to do that, but we figured that we could give it a try. After all, Joe Bob had been told that he was different, <laughs> real different. So after a few minutes of discussing things, we had a plan. Joe Bob and I talked with Ma and explained how we were answering the call to be different. We explained how we were going to live in the wild, just like John the Baptist. We didn't have any locusts to eat or camel hair clothes to wear, but we found some things that would help us be different. So we headed off so that we could be different. Joe Bob and I finally had our camp set up. We were discussing the next step in being different when Maggie Lou showed up. She's one of our good friends that we met right after we moved to Cactusville. Maggie Lou asked us what we were doing. I explained how we were trying to be like John the Baptist. Even though we didn't have camel hair clothes or locusts to eat, we still wanted to answer God's call to us. Mary Lou told us that John the Baptist was also called a voice crying in the wilderness. Maybe part of being different involved crying. Joe Bob says that he knew where a beehive was. If we went there and bothered the bees, they would sting us and we would surely cry. Joe Bob and I returned home that night very discouraged. We had tried to be different like God had called us to be, but it hadn't worked out. Ma sat us down at the table and pulled out the Bible. She read 2 Timothy 1, 9 to us. God has saved us and called us to a holy calling. She explained to us what that means to be called to be different. It doesn't mean that you can't live in a house or that you have to eat locusts. It means that you should live like Jesus did. Follow God's plan every day for your life. Jesus was kind, and he looked for opportunities to help other people. Suddenly, Ma noticed Joe Bob had a sad look on his face. What's the matter, Ma asked. I told Ma, I think Joe Bob wished that he would have known that sooner so that he didn't have to eat bugs to be different and everyone laughed. The next day, Joe Bob and I started to live differently, the way that God called us to be. We looked for people who needed our help. Sometimes it was Ma at home. Other times God provided people for us to help around town. You know, if you decide to live differently for God, it feels pretty good. But careers, it's time for our gold nugget. This week, we're going to be learning a memory verse together. First, we'll listen to our friends recite it, and then there will be a video with some actions to help us learn this amazing verse. Please follow along and do the actions, and every day we'll learn a little bit more until we can say the whole thing. Are you ready? Let's go! Second Timothy 1 verse 9 Jesus who saved us and called us was the Holy Calling. Who has saved us and, and called us with a Holy Calling. Wow, is that time?
time of the year again where we meet for our VBX story time. Good day boys and girls. My name is Pumzile. Today I'm going to tell you an exciting story, a story about John the Baptist. Did you know that John the Baptist was Jesus' cousin? And they didn't meet each other until they were 30. How many of you have got cousins? I'm sure most of you have got lots and lots of cousins, right? And there are some cousins that you have heard about, but you have never met. That was the case between John the Baptist and Jesus. Before, John the Baptist had a calling. God called John the Baptist to tell about Jesus. John the Baptist was born into the tribe of Levi, and he grew up within a small family. His father was Zechariah, and his mommy was Elizabeth. As a young adult, John the Baptist was told by God to leave his home. And guess what? He left his home and he would go and live in a desert. John the Baptist will tell people about Jesus. He will call people to repent. Repentance is to be sorry and to change your ways. Let's say maybe you did, you were doing something wrong. So John the Baptist will call people to repent, to change from their bad ways and to be good people. So John the Baptist used to preach by the river Jordan. And whenever he would preach by the river Jordan, when people had repented, John the Baptist would baptize them. Hence his popular name, he was called John the Baptist because after preaching and telling the world about Jesus, he would after that baptize them. But this is something that was um, different about John. John the Baptist was different in the way that he would dress. His clothes were so different. They were not like these cool clothes that you always wear, right? I know you guys have got cool clothes that you wear. John the Baptist used to wear clothes that were made from camel hair. And most of the times he would put a belt on his around his waist. So this was John the Baptist's um, way of dressing. He, it was a different dressing at all. And the other thing that John the Baptist was so different about, it was his diet. It was his what? His diet. Uh, Matthew 3 verse 4, it says that John the Baptist used to eat honey and locust. Well, there are some scholars who believe that John the Baptist would eat um, locust that was um, not the grasshoppers that we know, but this locust was some, 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 some sort of a herb, some sort of a, a tree that came from a tree. So John the Baptist um, diet was also different. It was a special diet that God had directed him to take each day. But in simpler terms, John the Baptist was a simple man, dedicated man. He was an obedient someone and he was so committed when it came to the calling that God had called him um, for. John the Baptist, he was a different man because he was always tell the truth. John the Baptist was a faithful man. John the Baptist was called, and so you and me, we are also called to be different. Well, there is a verse that I would like us to read today. It comes from 1 Peter 2 verse 9. It says, you are a royal priesthood, a holy nation. So Jesus is saying that this day we are also called because we are of royalty because we are a holy nation because we are a chosen generation today just know that you and me we are chosen and we are called to be different how can we be different um, children for Jesus 
let us always ask Jesus each and every day to help us to change. Let us ask him because he has called us with the holy calling. He has called us to be different. He has called us to be peculiar. He has called us to save him. Thank you. May you enjoy your day and don't forget to be different even when you are playing with your friends. Let us be different the way we talk, the way we play with others, the way we share. Let us be children that are going to share with others whatever that we have. And just like John the Baptist, let us be people who will be different by telling them something that is special, something that is about Jesus, right? That is the thing that makes us to be special boys and girls, chosen boys and girls, because you know about Jesus. You are also called to tell the world about Jesus. May we enjoy the rest of our days and let us not forget to take care of ourselves. Bye! It's craft time, buckaroos! Pause the video and grab all the materials outlined in your activity book and then you may follow along with us as we make something super cool!
snack time! Grab your booklet and head over to the kitchen and follow along with us on the video as we make something yummy to eat.
let's pray for today's lesson. Dear Jesus, I know I've done wrong things and I'm sorry, please forgive me. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I trust you and want to follow you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Uh, guide my life and help me to live the way you want me to. I love you, Jesus. I pray this in the sweet name of Jesus. Amen.